Good morning, Facebook. Grace and peace to you all. My prayer for all of you is the same as Paul's prayer for the Ephesians. And I love this prayer. Um, Eleven years ago, I had started a ministry called Restoring Freedom. And it was rooted in Galatians 5.1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not commit again to a yoke of slavery. And he's been stirring in me a, a new ministry in the fall I want to start called rerouting. Um, and the emphasis is, is, is in here. It's in Ephesians 3, 17 through 19, or actually 14 through 19. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. And so I'm a lot of times contrasting uh, the gospel of grace and God's un unconditional love with that of religion. And along my path, that's what I've seen, a lot of uh, hypocrisy inside the church where we're focusing on other people's behavior instead of us ourselves being overwhelmed by the grace, love, and mercy of God. Because guess what happens? Those that that happens to become um, an agent of that grace and that love and that mercy. We are great reflectors of what we've received. Someone that's in the bondage of legalism is not free. They're still trying to perform in order to receive. But guess what? Once God floods you with his grace, love, his power through his spirit in us, is where the real freedom and power and beauty and love and peace and joy and contentment comes from. It's not us trying to perform. So the ministry, I want to call it, is rerouting because that's really where are we placing our lives. We still have to move from one place to the other, right? And that's by our choice. Like I was rooted in self trying to justify and glorify and try to get everything that the world had to offer living you know for myself in a self-centered state to a life centered in him which is beautiful because that's where the real freedom and joy and contentment comes from so it's us rooting ourselves in the love of god and allowing him to transform and change us day by day you know and that's paul's prayer for the ephesians is that they understand the depths of god's love for them and through the Spirit, their lives are never the same, right? And that's what this is about. It's about rerouting your life. If your life is centered in self, then guess what? That's all you're going to have. You know, you're you're going to everything you can acquire, taste, see. You're that's rooted in self. That's that's why I always say that the uh, the root of all sin is self-centeredness, right? Because it is at the root of all sin. That's where it stems from. You know, I, I am my own. I'm going to get what I want when I want, no matter who it hurts. <clears throat> but really, the love of God floods us and changes us so we're able to live in a completely new way. May God bless you. And as we get closer to starting this, I'll, uh, I'll let you know I'm at First Street Church in Fresno. I know. But, uh, man, I just want people the same as Paul to understand the depths of God's love for them and allow reroute their lives because it's not about you performing for him it's about you trusting him with your entire life then we have christ as life not me incorporating him into my life for a better day in the moment but me really being at the center that's not freedom that's not where you're going to experience the fruit of the spirit the fruit of the spirit comes from being his his spirit it's the fruit of his spirit in you <laughs> May God bless you today. May he set you free from the bondage of self so you're able to walk and live in harmony with God and with one another and truly love him and love one another. God bless y'all.